Hello everybody, my name is Gabriela and today I'm gonna show you how to make a cool neon light sign like this one here. It's cool, isn't it? Now let's dive into it. You might think that making a neon light sign like this is complicated. You need to blow glass, have an engraving machine or soldering wires. But with Yotun's do-it-yourself kit you need none of that. All you need to follow is a 5-step procedure and you will be able to make a beautiful neon light sign like a pro. The first step is to print out a design template and overlay the transparent back panel on top of it and make sure that the dots are aligned to the holes. This is our template and this is our back panel. Make sure the black dots are aligned to the holes of the transparent back. Now you can use the nuts and the screws to fix the bracket to the panel. Now you can repeat the process in order to install all brackets according to the template. Once all of the brackets are installed, we are ready for our next step to prepare the neon light strips. In the second step, we will prepare the LED strips in the correct length. Notice that the design has three segments, the cloud, the moon and the storm. So we will have to prepare our LED neon strips for these three segments. Here these are our LED strips that are coming into the set and we will use right now. So to get the correct length of this LED segment, we install the LED strip along the shape of the segment on the template and we cut it off at the end of the segment. Now one thing to pay attention to you is you must cut along this dark line on the LED strip. If you don't cut the strip along these marks, you could damage internal electronic circuit inside the LED strip. So you should be very very careful where you cut with your scissors. Now you can repeat the process and get the three LED segments into the correct length. This is the result. In step 3 we will wire the LED segments and test them to make sure we have the wiring done correctly. This is the hardest step of all of the steps but don't worry, we will show you how to do it. If you cut the wire of either end of the provided LED strip, this segment will be already wired. All you need to do is to connect them to the power cable using a push type wire clipper.
All right, now these segments are ready to use. It wasn't that hard, right? As you see, this LED segment has no wire attached from the back like the other two. That's why we need to attach wires to the LED segment and for this we will use a special wire adapter. This is the wire adapter. Now if you look at the cross section of the wire adapter, you will notice this round corner and its rectangular corner. Now, if you look at the cross section of the LED strip, you will also notice one side, the light emitting side is rounded and the opposite side, the white rubber wrapped side is flat. Now when you wrap the wire adapter around the LED strip, make sure that the LED's rounded light emitting side is wrapped by the wire adapter rounded corner and the flat white rubber side is wrapped by the rectangular corner of the adapter. Another important rule is that the saw tooth must pierce the LED strip exactly on the place of the cutoff mark. It can be any cutoff mark but it's important to be right onto the cutoff mark. Now when the wires are attached to the LED segment, it's time to test them. For this purpose, we will again use the wire connector from the back. We connected all of the wires together to the power cable. Initially it looks a little bit messy, but if you use some zip tiles, you can bundle them up and make them nice and neat. If you can't bundle all wires from all segments together due to the length shortage, you can use extra wire connector and the provided black and red wire segments to relay the wires to connect to the power cable. This is the final result, how it's supposed to look like. Now is the big moment to test if everything is working properly, so let's switch it on. Ta-da! It looks nice, isn't it? Now, in the fifth step, we're gonna install the special stand. With this stand you can put your beautiful neon light sign on a desktop or behind a window or a wall. It's specially made to support each one of these places. So this is how you use IOTUN's do-it-yourself kit for neon light sign. Of course you don't need to use the template sheet, you can always design something on your own. But the steps are very same. I'm not an engineer but I still manage to do this one here. So imagine that it's not actually hard. I have the link of purchasing the do-it-yourself kit in the description down below. Also if you have any ideas or comments and you just want to express your opinion, I'm waiting to hear from you in the comment section. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and see you next time!